in this video series, we're going to study about base E and natural logarithms. Now, we use natural logarithms to assist us when dealing with the value E. E is an irrational number. It is approximately 2.71828 dot dot dot. Does not repeat. There is no pattern. It is irrational, much like pi. Now, natural logarithms are just another way to write logs. It's like using base e for log that we're used to. But instead of writing log base e of x, what we do is you write ln of x. Ln is our natural log. It means you're using a base e of log. Just like if we have ln of e, just like how if we have log base 10 of 10, if we have log base e of e, that means you have the natural log of e, which is equivalent to the number 1. We use e with exponential growth when interest is compounded continuously. For But what you have to understand, and many students do not like natural logs, and it's hard for as teachers to understand why, because it's just another way to write logs. Instead of writing down log base E every time, writing that E, we just write LN. It's shorter, it's quicker, but it means the same thing. You're going to find out properties of logs that we said before are still going to work. So just be familiar with the idea of E and write natural logs. We use LN before moving on to the next concept, which is our natural base functions. Just so you can see how does your natural log relate to the powers of E. If you have e to the x power, it models continuous growth. e to the negative x models continuous decay. Because remember, a negative exponent means 1 over it to the positive power. And so that would be decay. So the inverse of a natural base exponential function is called the natural logarithm. Now, logarithms are usually written as log base whatever, so log base e of x. But we abbreviate it as our natural log of x and we see our two functional graphs here and they are going to be inverses of each other so be familiar with how to write natural logs as an ln before you move on to the next video in this series